Do you have anything you want to know about Amsterdam? How's it going everybody? So this is the Blow Crew. So while I was in Atlanta at Stalacon, we met really, really cool people. One of the people that I met was this guy, his name's Carlos from Amsterdam. I don't know anyone from Amsterdam, now I know him. We were talking about all the differences from America and the Netherlands where he's from. Some really good insight with us. Hopefully y'all enjoy our little conversation. Here it goes. Okay, so uh, stereotypes, okay. Uh, what are some stereotypes in Amsterdam? Yeah. About Amsterdam? In, about, yeah. in, 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 about Amsterdam? In, 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 both, in. In Amsterdam and about Amsterdam. Well, so like stereotypical Americans drive big cars. Stereotypical Amsterdamians. Yeah. What do you What do you think? What do you think Amsterdam? I think drugs. Those. Drugs. Yeah. Well, there, there. There's one coffee shops. Uh, you have one big chain, for example, the Bulldog. It's um, very much for tourists. It's um, coffee shop. Yeah. The coffee shops with us is um, like the place where you get drugs. And a cafe is what you call a coffee shop. Makes sense. So, are yeah. drugs legal there? Well, uh, so per side. Soft drugs? What are soft yeah. drugs? Like uh, alcohol and weed? Marijuana. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. And those are called soft. Yeah, coffee shops. Yeah, the coffee shops sell uh, harsh weed. Coffee shops in Amsterdam sell weed, and then cafes are the places where you can get coffee. coffee. Yeah. Makes yeah, sense. Makes awesome. okay. yeah. What do you call a bar? A bar. Okay. <laughs> How do you say bar in um, Dutch? Pub. Bar. What? Bar. B A R. Bar. bar. I'll just say it in a different accent. Yes. Bar. 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 R, bar. R is stronger. It's, it's R. The F. They turn pirate. Bar. Like a, like a Spanish art? Similar. The bottom? Yeah, it's totally bottom. Bottom. Okay, so uh, yes. other stereotypes. Uh, probably you heard of the red light district. Oh, is that the uh, uh, prostitute? Somebody was uh, asking about that. Were you there? Someone someone from Stylecon was mentioning the red light district. Was that, were you there when they were talking about it? No. Someone from Stylecon had gone somewhere and they wanted, oh, yeah, they, yeah. You were okay. So they wanted to know where the red light district was, but they didn't want to be pervs. I didn't understand what that meant. Well, they, they were in the hostel, and they asked the guy, look, um, "Don't look at us weird, but we want to go to the, see the red lights. You know, we're tourists. We're in Amsterdam. We must see that." What is that? Once we got that, it's it's a thing. Mostly for tourists. What is it? So, what is it? The attraction. Uh, yeah, it is actually. It's um. But the guy um, asked for the hostel, and he was like, "Yeah, uh, welcome to the back door. You're there." Yeah. So he was actually at the right I'm like, whoa, it's cl it's close. We were almost there. No, hold on. So is it an actual area, or is it no. just a saying for prostitutes down the street? No, the red lights, the red light district is called like that because um, there's girls behind the windows and there's red lights behind the windows. Like neon lights, like flashing lights, like just, strip club no, lights. Red lights, red neon lights. That's cool. So you see a, a red window. Are they naked? Uh, I mean, almost. What do you do with it? With that? Well, someone will try to persuade you to come inside and you're gonna do your thing. Okay. It depends on what you want, I guess. And then you have to charge. Oh, I mean, so it's a this special is service. Here. This is just from hearsay because it's it's really a tourist thing. The red lights. Yeah. Red light district. It's funny because the red light district where it is now it used to be the rich part of the country, uh, the rich part of the city. Yeah. That's usually how it goes. The, the rich know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. But the area there is actually amazing. It's, it's really beautiful. The buildings there is insane. Right. And um, you just need to look up, not to the girls. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the area is nice. For You're kind of confirming my stereotypes of. Uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, so I've like never... the drugs and then the uh, sex, and drugs. sex and drugs. Where's the rock and roll? <laughs> uh, I've never heard of that term. <laughs> I've never heard of that term, red light district. No? No, i never heard of that. Oh, well, the more you know. Where are those no, no, it stops. <laughs> oh, it stops. Like, oh my god. Um, <laughs> that means we have to do it again. Just kidding. <laughs> And hunting. 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 Yeah, that's the thing you do here as well. We don't have that in the Netherlands. You don't hunt. Not, not too much. You have a lot of grassland. Yeah. Right? But no wildlife. That's right? Amazing. Yeah. Not that much. Pretty, pr pretty barren. Birds. Like Emily, but. Yeah, we don't have uh, big game. Uh, 
And so he's trying to teach me how to how to shoot things. Yeah? Oh, that's, I'm sure that's going to go very well. Because that's, I hope so. <laughs> you have to take classes. You have to get certified in one of the ones to have a gun and why not, right? To hunt. To hunt. To shoot a gun, you can go shoot a gun wherever you want. Oh, well, then to, on the range you go hunt. Yeah, there, there was there was a guy on Starcon who said he was he wanted to go this Sunday to the shooting range next to the airport like just to shoot. There's a shooting range next to the airport? Yes. Where? Yes. Here? Yeah, apparently. I'm like, okay, well, then we're getting to the airport early and we're like, you know what, we're just going to shoot some rounds. Yeah. What do Americans do on their uh, spare time? Shoot guns. Or drive big cars. America. <laughs> That's kind of the stereotypes we have. Uh, and eat big meals. It's very true. Yeah. Go big or go big home. Big meals, big cars, big guns. You see that really, really, very much so. That is 100% true in Texas or oh. Arizona. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, it's true in California and wherever, but 110% true, Texas. One thing that surprised me, I... I First day here in America, I was in an Uber and I, the car in front of me was a big red pickup Ford, I had a 250, okay. with neon lights that change color on the Nice. That's nice. I've seen those things in GTA and everything, in the games. <laughs> Fast and Furious. I never expected that in real life. Yeah. That's, that's insane. That's really cool. Here in Atlanta, Atlanta is famous for modified cars. So if you, if you want a, I don't know, a thousand horsepower Dodge SRT Hellcat, you'd come here to find that. That's way too much. That's, yeah, that's too much. You know what they say about guys with big cars? You do. You. Do you have a big bank account? <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> Let's try not to offend all the Americans at the same time oh, in this video. Got... Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, I don't drive a pickup anymore. <laughs> oh, seriously, everything we said in this video was offensive to some Americans. Well, everything you say is offensive to someone. <laughs> yeah. I'm I serious. We're going to keep like this for another 15 minutes. We have offended everyone in America. Every, we've covered everything. <laughs> yeah. All the stereotypes, all, all the. All the types of stereos. Oh, I mean, Amsterdam, I think, from what I've seen on in movies, is like a drug scene. Yeah. It wasn't the worst Definitely, you know, weed and just drinking. Hostel. Did you ever see that movie, Hostel? Yeah, it's where uh, some American tourists have their backpack and they're in Amsterdam and they get kidnapped. Oh. Yeah. So that was pretty frightening, and I'm like, oh, I'm never going there. Never. <laughs> yeah. Staying away from that place. What, what type of animal is an amster, and why does it build dams? Because <laughs> here, here, our beavers do that. So, it, what is a beaver? Uh, that was one of our presidents. <laughs> and he built the Hoover Dam. <laughs> oh, damn! Yeah. I know you guys have a lot of uh, canals. Yeah. Right. Well, so. the city is basically built. Um, you know, central station, uh, basically in the center, with them square. That's uh, here. That's my area. There's a canal built around that, and around that, you know, keeps going out. It used to be a defense strategy against uh, invaders, but, you know, they built bridges and everything, and it's all connected. Okay. But you can take tours around the canals, and everything is connected, so, yeah. It is nice. So instead of owning a car, you own a boat? No. There is a city in the Netherlands that has that, though, where there's no road, just water. Really? Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, there is. Um, don't you get don't you get around by paddle boat? Uh, paddle boat. We can paddle boat in the canals in Amsterdam. Yeah. Yes. But that's only if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, you can rent a paddle boat. It's like a must. <laughs> no, no. That uh, isn't there. I don't know if it's in Amsterdam, but there is such a city that there's no roads, yeah. only rivers. I just said that. Uh huh. But but the only the only means of transportation is paddle boat. Right? Yeah, no, 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 that's not necessarily true. Okay. We have the, 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 uh, the engines, the siren engines, the very slow, or I don't know how big of boats they have there. The weather isn't great in the Netherlands, so it wouldn't be ideal. Just a pedal boat. You're gonna get back home from school, you're gonna get wet. You're gonna get wet. <laughs> Red light district and wetness and weed and drugs and whatnot. 
Thanks so much for joining us. Carlos? Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me here. And if you have any comments about what we talked about, what are your stereotypes about America that you have? So if you're from Amsterdam, comment right below and let me know all the other stereotypes that you guys think of Americans. And I'll see if I can uh, confirm them or not. It'd be really cool what you guys have to say. Or if you are an American who has gone to Amsterdam, what are some truths about the stereotypes that we have about Amsterdam? Let me know in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.